it doesn't really matter what you what kind of website you're running, right? A, a media site, a news site, a blog. There is a good reason to attach a store to that property because fans of yours, people who love coming and reading or checking out what you have on your site, will ultimately love to wear a hat, have a have a t-shirt, something that says, hey, it came from you. And so creating a little store, which doesn't have to be a ton of work if you have a partner doing fulfillment, is really a big upside for you. And there's really no downside. And that's because you can work with products like, or companies like, Printful and Printify, and they will automatically do the fulfillment. So in this particular case, I want to show you a site that is just some t-shirts and sweatshirts and hats. And when you take a look at the t-shirt, right, what you'll see is there's the price, there's a description I've written, different colors and sizes, which you can see down here as well, right? There's also the additional details of the product, weight, and even a sizing chart. So all of this is in place, and you're going, wow, how much work was that to do? Not much work at all. And the reason is because I'm working with Printful and Printify. Now, both of these companies work very similarly, right? There is a product catalog. In that product catalog, you can find everything from t-shirts and sweatshirts to different kinds of accessories, including a backpack, right? Jewelry, phone cases, uh, there's pillows and canvases and posters and all sorts of stuff on, you know, in these catalogs. And what you do is when you come into your store, you say, I want to add a product, go to an accessory, right? Pick something like, oh yeah, this is a backpack. That looks pretty good, right? I'm going to see all their providers, right? And in this case, there's one. I'm going to say, let's go design something and I'm going to grab an image, right? These are images I've already uploaded, right? So I will select the image and say, yep, that's what I want. Now, here's the one way Printify works better than Printful in that it gives you control to rotate, right? Which the other product doesn't do. So then I can come over here and make it 35, right? Make it so big that I can, oh, 35 isn't the right size. I guess I needed to make it bigger. So let's do that, right? We'll make that 38. And uh, over here, let's make this 30 so that we can have a really good looking. There, that looks good. We'll hit save and continue. So now I have a backpack, right? This is a cigar backpack because I like cigars. The truth is I can decide which view I want to show off. This is a fine view, right? And then I can start clicking continue, which will take me through to the description or I might call this a cigar backpack. That's what's gonna show up in my store, right? I can add sizing if that's important, right? Um, and uh, I'll hit continue, right? I might decide, you know what? Um, let's just make all of these, let's say $60 and $60 and let's make this one 55, all right? I can say publish and I can even say make this invisible, right? And we'll sh I'll show you what that looks like. So what's going to happen is this is going to start working in the background. And you're going, wait, but what is it doing? Is it just creating it in my Printify store? No, nope, it's not just doing that. Because if I come back to this store, if I hit refresh, it should not show up here, right? But if I come into my products and I refresh this, it will show up here and it should show up as a draft. And there it is, right? And when I go that draft, I can say, oh, but look, it's not in the right category, right? So I could come over to categories. I could add, you know, here we have an accessories, right? So I go, okay, that's good. I'll come back in here. I can go into edit this guy and I can make it accessories instead, right? You go, okay, this is good, right? And hit publish. Um, and notice it's going to change the status to published. When I do that, right? Um, I can go back in and see that I have it now listed as a real product, right? And it's, it's you know, all set up in here. And that's going to mean it sh it'll show up over here too, right? So there it is, right? There is, there is the bag. Here's the thing though. Something else has just happened because it's going to show up over here, right? When I hit refresh, because both of these systems 
are connected, right? Both Printify and Printful are connected to my store. It's going to go, hold on a second. You just introduced a new product that we don't know anything about. And that's why they have this beautiful button called Ignore. And I go, hey, it may just be the thing you need, right? Selling on produce anywhere, right? You're like, okay, I, I don't know that, right? So here it is, and it's ignored. The same way these sweatshirts are ignored. See, what I did was I said, I would like hats and t-shirts from Printful, but I want the hoodies from Printify, and I want the backpack from Printify, right? So I just hit ignore, and then Printful will not do anything in terms of fulfillment. Now, when you look at Printify and you go in the store settings, right, you're going to see that there's not a lot of options, right? You have basically where are you going to ship it from? What do you want the name to be? Uh, do you want this to be auto approved every hour or right away, whatever, right? And do you want tracking notification to be sent? That's the total of your store details, right? If you come back over here to uh, Printful, right, that was Printify, and you take a look you got way more options, right? From notifications to the API, to the carriers, to the packing slip. You can even put pack-ins, right? Which is like, hey, do you want to put stickers and everything else into the stuff? Um, they'll store it. You ship them a bunch of stuff. They'll store it and put it in. So in terms of how the store works, you might say, oh, I like Printful more. And there are certain products in their catalog, right? That you go, oh, I like those. But in terms of being able to do that kind of design where I flipped it sideways, I can't do that, right? So you'll notice here, if I go to my store, hardcore, this is totally horizontal, right? And the t-shirts horizontal, but I wanted the hoodies to be vertical. And it turns out that's a lot easier to do at Printify than it is at Printful. And so I brought them together. Now, I don't want to mess up this store, so I can go back in here and take a look at this product and I can just kill the product. Right. I can do that, too. But before I do that, let me show you how these two things are playing out in here. So I go into settings and sorry, WooCommerce settings. And what you're going to see is over here in advanced, I'm going to have a legacy API. That's the checkbox I want. Right. That checkbox will allow me to put in the web hooks and everything else I need. But once I check that box, the other thing I'm going to have to do is come into my plugins and install the Printful integration, right? And the Printify app. And if you install these two guys and you have that legacy piece, you can follow through their instructions and integrate it. And then you will have, right? As of right now, if someone came into my store, I'm gonna get rid of that guy now, right? If someone came into my store and bought a hat, right? If, if you wanted to come do that, right? You would literally get that hat and over here, right? This would come over and it would say, okay, Chris, in the AF store, right, um, we have, you know, these are the hats. They've been synced. They're ready. They're ready to get produced. They know, it, Printful knows everything you need to know to produce it. And it will put it in a box and ship it to you, right? On the flip side, if you were to come over here, right, by the way, I can just come and delete products over here as well, right? But if you were to come over and pick one of the hoodies, right, and you'll see different colors and different sizes are all in this catalog, it would package it up and ship it to you. So when you're creating a store, right? And you're like, hey, I have this logo or I have this saying or I have this thing and I want to put it on products. Using Printful and Printify is really easy. And all of a sudden you're like, wait, look at all this. And, and part of the thing that we didn't spend a lot of time on, right? The thing to understand is I didn't have to create this image, right? All I had to do back on the other stores, you know, Printful and Printify, is just upload the exhausted.af, that image, right? By putting that, whatever it's a logo, a saying, by putting that in place, right? It automatically said, well, tell me what colors you want of what product. And because it knew that, it will automatically produce these images and push them over so that they're synced for my WooCommerce gallery for this particular product. So all of that work, the creating of the product, the creating of all the variations, right? Because in order to do this, right, you got to go create attributes for color and size and then create variations of all the different permutations and then get it ready with pricing. And it, it does that. It brings all that data from over here, right? You'll see when I come in here, it's 50 synced. Why 50? Because it's all those permutations, different colors and different sizes. And it says we took care of it, 
right? We took care of it for you. You don't have to worry. It's all in the store. And now people can just buy it. And what tends to happen here, someone hits buy, it goes over to one of the two providers. They create it. They Obviously, the money gets paid to me because I'm using WooCommerce. So it goes into my account. Then I get, because my account's connected to those guys, I get billed for the, the actual raw product, right? Leaving the margin in my account. And then they create the product and ship it out. And I don't have to do anything, right? I don't have to do anything at all. So it's super easy to create a hat store, a t-shirt store, a sweatshirt store, a backpack store, or anything else that fits with your blog, fits with your new site, fits with your media site, fits with your corporate site. Really easy to do by taking WooCommerce, Printful, or Printify, and putting it together. Thanks.